1,400 years ago, these people were covered by a pyroclastic flow during a volcanic eruption. A man still wearing armor was found by Japanese archaeologists under a two-meter layer of ash. In 2012, excavations were conducted before the construction of the expressway in Shibukawa, Kanto region of Honshu Island, Japan. During them, scientists discovered the remains of a settlement destroyed by the eruption of the Haruna volcano in the early 6th century. It has been established that there were two major eruptions, and during the first of them, the Kanai Higashura settlement, located at the foot of the mountain, was covered with pyro plastic flow and quickly covered with ash. This place was called the, the Japanese Pompeii. On November 19th, at a depth of more than two meters, archaeologists came across the skeleton of a man in armor, lying face down with his legs pulled up. He had probably been caught by a pyroclastic flow as he ran for cover. Beside the body lay several objects that appeared to belong to the man, including a spear and iron arrowheads. The man was wearing a shell made of 1,800 iron plates bound together with woven cord, and a helmet made of five iron strips. The helmet included parts to protect his cheeks and neck. In addition, a knife with a hilt of antler and a sharpening stone hung from the belt. Another part of the armor was a meter away from the body, many plates of antler, tightened with a leather strap. It is believed that this part served to protect the chest. The warrior was 164 centimeters tall and at least 40 years old. The man had a tall face and a narrow nose. Judging by the features of his skull, this man was not a local resident, but came from the south of the Korean peninsula. The features of his skeleton suggest that he was a regular horseback rider and archer. He was probably left-handed. This is the first find of its kind although 600 pieces of similar armor have been found in the tombs. This is the first time they have been found on the wearer. Judging by the equipment, the man belonged to an elite unit and may have even been a local ruler. The armor set is not complete there is only torso and thigh protection. Therefore, it is believed that the warrior was not performing his official duties, but was escaping with his family. In addition, the remains of three other people were found, a woman, a five-year-old child and an infant. To preserve the finds, they were covered with a special resin, cut into blocks of stone and taken to the laboratory. A woman in her early 30s was lying face down with her right leg bent. Around her neck was a necklace of more than 80 jasper and glass beads, a piece of jewelry indicating high status. 21 beads were found in the waist area. The shape of the woman's face, with a broad chin and rather wide nose, is typical of the local population of that era. Judging by the pelvic features, the woman had survived at least one childbirth. Her muscles were well developed and she was clearly engaged in physical labor. Her height was 143 centimeters, very short. Isotope analysis showed that both the man and the woman spent their childhood in the same area west of Kanto. In addition to the four skeletons, archaeologists recovered many pieces of jewelry, pottery, metalware, and the remains of buildings. In addition, numerous human footprints and horse hoof prints were found in the volcanic ash. It is likely that people returned here in between eruptions. As part of the Bring Your Ancestors to Life project, the Gumma Prefectural Historical Museum presents reconstructions of the appearance of a man and a woman made by anthropologists. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and write a comment, it will greatly help the YouTube algorithms to promote my videos.